Fourth inning, first and third, none out. It ends with an attempted steal of home. Those happen so rarely. How is it that you were so ready? Well, it's happened to me before. Um, at least one other time that I can remember, you know, Carlos Gomez tried it against me in Houston one time. And, um, you know, I, I work on that with the first baseman. You know, I always tell them, like, hey, I, I look at them originally, but if they break, you got to say something. And I just know now to step off fast and throw it. So. It's something that doesn't happen a lot, you're right, but it has happened before and uh, prepared for it. You come out with two outs in the sixth. You had retired seven straight hitters. Now, I know the plan was for you to go face about 21 hitters. That said, how did you think you were throwing at that time? Yeah, tonight was a book of grinds all the way through. It just wasn't, uh, I didn't have my stuff like I did in game one. My slider wasn't near as good as it was, so uh, fortunate to get through there. And, you know, Doc and I talked about it after the inning, and I was going to go through Lau, and even though it was just two pitches. So stuck with the game plan. D made an unbelievable victor, an unbelievable Blake closing it out, and that was, uh, that was huge for us. All right, you're one win away from the Dodgers' first World Series title since 1988. What is your level of excitement right now? It's very excited, but at the same time, we got to win one more game. And so I, I'm going to keep it together for one more game. We're going to win one more. Clayton, congratulations. Thank right. you. Thank you. It's Max Muncy who joins us on the headset. And Max, it's Kevin Burkhardt and the Fox guys here. Thanks for doing this with us. And we just heard from Clayton. He was talking with Ken Rosenthal about that, that pivotal inning where in the fourth inning when a couple guys got on and you kept them off the scoreboard. Take us through from your position. It was such a big play when Margot's trying to steal home. Obviously, Clayton can't see. So tell me what you saw and how you told Clayton what was going down there. Yeah, uh, you know, thankfully, I was fortunate enough to see one or two guys in the past attempt something like that on him. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, he has that that long pause in his when he comes stretch. Um, yet you have to be aware of it. And, you know, Kirsch has been doing that for a long time. So uh, thankfully, he knew what to do when I was when I ran yelling at him, telling him guy going home. Uh, he, he didn't panic. He did what he was supposed to. And we got the job. Max and Alex Rodriguez here. Congrats on the big game in a matter of less than 10 minutes. You have two runs. One, you save one by telling Kern, you get the assist there for Kershaw. And then on, on the up, in the top half of the inning, you hit a ball a country mile. You had three sluggers <laughs> here. We jumped up and down, and we said, wow, how good did that feel tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think you guys know when you, uh, when you connect on 100 miles an hour, uh, it's, it's probably, not, probably not a better feeling out there than that. Uh, you know, I, that's one of those things where I didn't actually feel it hit the bat. Uh, mm. And it was just, I was pumped up. Monsi, what's up, buddy? This is Big Poppy right here. Congratulations on your win tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, I'm a big fan of yours because I see how serious and how personal you take things on the field. Tell me about, I see that you are extremely locked in at the play, and I love it. How good are you seeing the baseball right now? Yeah, really good. Uh, you know, it's one of the things where I've seen the ball good all year, just, uh, uh, you know, the way baseball is, the results weren't necessarily there, but... Uh, Thankfully, I haven't been able to panic, and I've been able to carry that into the postseason. And, um, you know, just kind of understanding the way they've been wanting to attack me and uh, not getting out of my approach. And I feel like that's helped me out a lot when it comes to seeing the ball. Max, Frank Thomas here. Work with me. Why are you so angry at the plate, man? <laughs> I mean, when you hit that ball, you just had a growl and a snarl. It just, it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me. Oh, man. Yeah, it's one of those things where I, I didn't hit it far enough. I was angry. I mean, I, I wanted to hit that ball out of the stadium. Uh, uh, no, I, you know, it's just, that's just how I am at the plate. I take things very seriously, but I also like to have a lot of fun. It's just, uh, uh, you know, that, that's my way of doing it. Great job, man. Hey, Monsi, one more question from Poppy, man. Tell me what feels better than hitting the ball like that. <laughs> uh, you know, like, like I said, uh, I don't know that anything feels better than that in baseball. That's, uh, <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Congratulations, hopefully, man. Yeah, hopefully I'll find out in a, in a day or two if something feels any better than that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Max, we'll, we'll let you go. But, you know, Big Poppy, a different type of journalist. He just calls people by their last name. There's no first name. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no last name. Uh, it's Max. <laughs> No, that's, just, that's just how it is in baseball. Everyone, everyone calls each other by their last names in baseball. <laughs> hey, Max, thanks so much for joining us. Terrific game, and congrats, and good luck in game six. All right, thank you very much. Dave Roberts, this was a manager's game. You had plenty of decisions to make. I want to start with the one, first of all, taking Clayton Kershaw out of the game. Tell me about the meeting on the mound and why you took him out. Yeah, right there, it was just before that sixth inning. I talked to him and just kind of, kind of gauged where he was at, and we agreed on two hitters. And I think that uh, he didn't have much left in the tank. 
we wanted to get through Lau right there. And so, yeah, it was two pitches, but I didn't want to do the bait and switch, and I just felt that was it, and I felt good with Dustin coming in. It looked like Justin Turner was lobbying to keep him in. Did you have your mind made up? I did have my mind made up, and I, I had real clarity, but obviously the player believes in each other, and I love that, but I still felt we had a good option with Dustin. Well, you believed in Dustin May. He consolidated that belief, and you believed in Victor Gonzalez. How about those decisions to plug those young pitchers into this huge game? You know what? I, I just think for me, Tom, it's just about believing in these guys. And it's been a rocky road for, for those guys a little bit the last couple outings, but I just uh, have confidence, believe in them, and wanted to run talent out there, and uh, they made me look good tonight. One went away from winning the World Series. You've been here before, but now you have two chances. First of all, who is your pitcher? in game six, and what about this opportunity? You know what, uh, I don't know if it's official, but I, I think I'm leaning towards Gonsolin, um, but uh, we'll see, but let's finish it off tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna talk about it tonight, but I'm just proud of our guys, man. Uh, we fought hard, offensively got a lead, and the bullpen was outstanding. Dave, thanks so much. Thanks, Tom. Download the all-new Fox Sports app now.